One of the pillars on which Mount Scopus is built, one of the four values that we particularly identify is that of community and service. But to understand what community and service is begs the question, which community are we serving? And the answer is several. A value in Mount Scopus is that we are citizens of the world, we are citizens of Australia, we live in Melbourne, we are connected to the Jewish people in the State of Israel, and we have our families. And these are all communities of which we are a part. But in a sense, it all starts here in school, in our own school community. And being part of a community means being sensitive to the needs of others. It means thinking what we can do to help others. It means thinking what are the privileges that I get as being part of this community and what therefore are the responsibilities I have to make it better. And today we're paying tribute to a large group of people who have really understood what it means to serve one's own community. People are captains, they're office bearers, they're members of committees, because it's fun, and because it has its own reward. But above all, because it's a way to give back to those around us. It's a way to, very literally, make the school a better place. Make it more fun, make it more inclusive, make it more welcoming, make it more like home for every member of the school community. And of course it's also, as we've seen clearly in some of the presentations just now, it's about expanding our horizons and telling us how we can serve other communities around us. The people we're honouring today have given up time in a very busy year in order to make the school the best it possibly can be. They deserve our appreciation, our admiration, and above all, our thanks. And so on behalf of everyone today, I thank everyone who's been involved in one way or another, from the captains to the committees and everyone in Year 12 who made an effort. And I say thank you for making our school the wonderful place that it is. And now, thank you everyone for your patience. It is the moment where we say thank you to the crew from 5777 and we welcome and officially induct the officers for 5778. And finally, we thank our 5777 college captains. And we welcome our college captains for the coming year for 5778. Rabbi Kennard, staff, students, and friends of the college, we are both truly honored and humbled to be standing before you as the college captains for the year 5778. With Rosh Hashanah just a day away, we are about to start the 10 days of repentance between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Teshuvah, meaning repentance, is driven by two contrasting mindsets, commitment to the future and remorse for the past. Rosh Hashanah is focused on the former, committing to self-improvement through introspection, whereas Yom Kippur is focused on the latter, repenting for one's sins and seeking forgiveness. Rosh Hashanah comes before Yom Kippur, suggesting that our desire to act more benevolently, more altruistically in the future, should take precedence over our feelings of remorse concerning the past. The word Rosh translates to head, and the head is naturally positioned to look forwards. Hence, we blow the shofar on Rosh Hashanah to remind us to think about what lies ahead and not behind. Looking forward, we should think about our roles within our families, our Scopus community, and our wider Jewish community. 
Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs said, The gift of community is where we help others and others help us, and where we learn that joy is doubled and grief halved by being shared. As the year of 577 comes to a close, we reflect on what has been an incredible year. To the exceptional past school leaders who have enriched and added flavour and taste to our schooling lives, and all the incredible and enthusiastic committee members. We speak on behalf of the entire student body in thanking you for your dedication, selflessness and creativity. We also show gratitude to the past year of Office Bearers, your determination and passion to create a long-lasting change in this school will remain a tribute to your hard work. Undoubtedly, all the upcoming leaders and the cohort of 577A will strive to replicate and strengthen the impacts in which you have all made. In the past, Scopus has been likened to many things. A TI-inspired calculator, encouraging <coughs> and assisting the students to reach their goal of X. A hair salon shaping the Scopus Park to a fresh and stylish environment. A hot air balloon, lifting the Scopus family and its school spirit to new heights. And a sandwich, consisting of delicious flavours to enhance our school experience. This year, we uphold the tradition and are proud to announce that Scopus is like a trampoline. <laughs> the school grounds are the poles, upraising the students and facilitating our opportunity to jump to new heights. The committed staff members of the safety padding, ensuring our optimal schooling experience where we attain a sense of security and comfort. The NEST describes the core Scopus values, surrounding us with the moral constructs and principles, encouraging us to achieve social justice and to put alarm. The permeating school spirit is represented by the Sprint boosting our love and passion for the school to extended heights. So, we've got the poles, the safety padding, the nets and the springs, but what's missing? What's that one fundamental component needed to assemble the trampoline? The bounce mat, the platform for our jumps, the core feature required in order to allow the use of all other components. Without this bounce mat, there is no trampoline. Likewise, in order for the school to function, we need the students. The students, you are the bounce map, the life of the school. Its success is dependent on your involvement. When you're on a trampoline, the more of an emphasis weighted on the jump, the higher and further you will go. Similarly, the more passion and effort you invest in school life, the more you will gain from it. It is up to us, the students, to take the wonderful opportunities provided and use them as a platform to jump to an elevated height. To our fun, loving team of portfolio captains, office bearers and soon-to-be committees, we are both extremely excited for the upcoming creative initiatives and to uncover new depths with you. Our Tzadi Kim, Rambam loving, Torah learning, Jewish life team will continue to strengthen our Jewish identity. Our tree hugging, kind, natured, eco-friendly school environment team will blossom our environmental awareness. Our mitzvah performing, awareness raising, world changing social action team will encourage us to act out of empathy and kindness. Our Roth Fanatics vibe making, floor shaking spirit team will pervade the hallways with an exciting atmosphere. And our chickpea blending, hatik for singing, El Al Flying is our Kesher team will strengthen our inherent connection to the Holy Land. To our soon-to-be wonderful committees and upcoming office bearers, who will continue to enrich the school in sport, sedaka, art, media, shul and radio. We are looking forward to bringing life and colour to the school together over the next year to strengthen all facets of school life. To the class of 2018, the ride so far has been extraordinary. It's finally our year's turn to wear the VCE jumpers and be the leaders of the school. Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur symbolise a new beginning, a time of reflection and introspection, both as an individual and as a school. As we finish eating the delicious sandwich, we jump onto the trampoline and into the next chapter of Scopus' story in the year of involvement. To quote Benjamin Franklin, Tell me, and I will forget. 
Show me, and I may remember. Involve me, and I will learn. To all students from years 7 to 12, we can't wait to see you all involved, reach new heights, and help further develop our innate Scopus spirit. So now we ask you, in the year of 5778, how high will you jump? Shana Tava and Fazar Bayonet.